New figures show that between 2016 and 2017, 9 out of 10 crimes in the UK went completely unsolved. New figures have been released and uh, the Daily Mail and the Mirror are reporting today that these figures show that between 2016 and 2017 only 11.6% of crimes um, actually went solved, uh, actually were dealt with by the police, solved and dealt with and poof, line drawn. 11.6. So the Mirror's reporting 9 in 10 crimes are never solved as police forces buckle under brutal Tory cuts. Of course, Tory cuts are happening. Sometimes cuts have to happen because spending's too high. And we all know how useless the government is at spending money in a sensible way. I mean, we, we spend billions on foreign aid, millions upon millions on diversity projects and this, that and the other. You know, the, the government, we all know, should be taking it down to the bare basics. But as a result of overspending, we're now making cuts and the police don't have the resources they need. But I think there's more to the story than Tory cuts, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, the Mirror says... The shocking figure is a drop of 26% and statistics also revealed a postcode lottery on the number of cases officers are closing across England, Wales and Northern Ireland. So not only is it 9 in 10 crimes never, go, uh, never get solved, they're getting worse. Over the last uh, year, uh, b before these statistics, it, it was a drop of 26%. That's massive. Massive. Shadow Home Secretary Diane Abbott. Diane Abbott. Uh, said the figures show austerity policies are impacting safety and justice in our communities. She said, quote, cash-strapped forces are struggling to meet the demands of soaring crime. You simply cannot protect the public on the cheap. Yep, and Diane Abbott wants to give approximately £150 quadrillion to the police service, or about £10 each, if you're counting, uh, per police officer, uh, with an annual bonus of £500,000 a year. Great offer from Miss Diane Abbott, our future Home Secretary. Anyway, last year, figures showed that 9 in 10... Uh, this is a new statistic, by the way. Last year, figures also showed that 9 in 10 home burglary investigations were closed without a suspect being identified. Uh, home Office statistics showed that out of the 44,363 burglary cases recorded in England and Wales, almost 90% of them ended without a suspect being identified. I know people in London who were burgled, and they told me the police came around and said, ah, sorry, nothing we can do. We'll never find them. That's what the police has come to now. And it's not just London, it's, it's across England and Wales. Burglaries just go completely uninvestigated, they never find out. In the case of the Metropolitan Police, uh, Deputy Assistant Commissioner Mark Simmons said the force was working with fewer officers and less money. Now, of course, this is partly because of Tory cuts, but it's not helped by the bad priorities of many police forces across the UK. Look at Suffolk Police, for instance. This article here is shocking. In May, £157,000 was set aside for Chief Constable Gareth Wilson's plan for a new diversity strategy. The police oracle says chiefs want new diversity strategy to be start of step change. Some £157,000 was spent on the design. Um, Suffolk Chief Constable Gareth Wilson has been leading on pol policing's new diversity strategy which was hailed as hugely important by Policing Minister Nick Hurd last month. And on top of Suffolk Police's £157,000 mental plan put straight from their mental ideas machine, um, the, the, the Met Police, uh, the Metropolitan Police of London have 900 hate crime specialists working in London alone. And the police keep wearing high heels for some reason. What's going on? Is it too much to ask the police to just do their job? Really? Am I being unreasonable here? Am I crazy for thinking the police should be out there fighting crime? Am I crazy for thinking the police shouldn't be sat here tip-tapping away on the computers, on Twitter, looking for people saying mean things? Am I mad? I mean, when police forces are spending hundreds of thousands of pounds on uh, diversity projects like in Suffolk, and when the Metropolitan Police announces that BME, Black and Ethnic Minority Officers, will be rising in the ranks in order to make the police more representative of London, and the fact that the, the Met is consulting lawyers to seek a legal path to improve diversity in the force, and when the police are tottering round in high heels taller than Theresa May's, uh, and when the police are afraid of arresting ethnic minorities and using stop and search because of fear of being branded racist, 
Is it any wonder that 9 in 10 crimes go completely unsolved? If you want to see more from me and the rest of the Rebel team, be sure to download the brand new app from the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store.